back to my channel. Today I have my January wrap up for you. January isn't over quite yet. There are two days left, but I don't think that I will read any more than of what I already did or the books that I've already started. So let's get into it. All in all, I read four books and eight mangas in the month of January. The first book I read in January was The Christmas Box by Richard Paul Evans. It's a really, really short book. It has about 130 pages, I believe, so it was a really quick read. Although it took me several days because I wanted to take my time with this book, I really enjoyed this short story about Christmas and about what's most important at Christmas and in general. It is Richard Paul Evans' debut. I really enjoyed it and I've heard several negative things about this book but don't agree with those negative opinions so it got 4 out of 5 stars from me. Next up is a book that you have seen quite a lot of on my channel already. A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I really enjoyed this book. It was a really unique and changing reading experience for me. So this book got 5 out of 5 stars from me. If you want to know any further detail why I like this book or of my reading experience, I will link my review and my reading diary playlist in the info card above. The next book I read was a book that I got for review and that is the third and final book in the Butterfly Trilogy, Bastion's Butterfly by Greta Villard. If you follow my channel for a while, you know that I love the first two books, Julie's Butterfly and Anna's Butterfly to pieces and I was really excited for this last installment, but I was pretty disappointed with it. I will also do a German and English review that will be up soon so you can see my further opinion on it. But it was kind of a roller coaster ride for me and I wasn't that happy with the book. So all in all I got 2.5 to 3 stars from me. And the last book that I haven't quite finished yet but will definitely in the next two days because I have like only 40 pages left is The Vegetarian by Han Kang. I have no idea how I will rate this book. I'm not even sure how I like this book because it's so weird and I like the first part. I kind of did not like the second part. The second part was definitely even for me too weird and now I'm in the third part and I will see. I will put my final opinion somewhere here. And then I want to quickly mention two books in this month that I started but that I wasn't really a fan of. The first of those two is Tiny Pretty Things by Sona Charai Potra and Danielle Clayton. I DNF this book. I got to page 84 I believe and I really wasn't digging it. I mean the ballet part was okay. I was really looking forward to this book because I wanted to read another book that is centered around ballet. It wasn't like the drama part that got me off. It was more like more detailed drama part that really made me not able to finish this book and I really, really hated it. I hated that two of the three main characters kind of were in love with boys that were already in a relationship and that was just like no-go for me and some other stuff that I won't get into detail because, spoiler, I really could not stand and I was getting so mad. And the other book is A Need So Beautiful by Suzanne Young and I really, really wanted this book to work for me because the last Suzanne Young book I couldn't finish, I DNF'd it and I really hoped that this would get me back on track for her to be my favorite author again but this book really didn't work for me either. I didn't DNF it, I just skimmed through most parts of the book, like over half of the book. And as you can see it is a signed copy so I would probably hold on to it. And I like the general premise of this book with this new perspective on angels but everything else was kind of not interesting at all. The side story about her best friend I did not care at all for. There were too many needs that she had to take and she couldn't really resist any of them and the, the synopsis of this book was kind of like uh, giving me way more information than I needed. I didn't came across it in the book, the parts that I read and it was just too much elsewhere 
for this story to keep me interested in. and to get on to my mangas I read this month because I wanted to take my time with the actual books I kind of read a lot of mangas and decreased my manga TBR quite a bit I had a lot of manga still left on my TBR now I have only two the first manga I read was the first volume of Miyaku by Kyoko Kumagai I believe and this is a time travel manga series there is a really cutesy art style and that's what originally drew me to it and like the actual time travel key that was in it in this first edition but I wasn't that invested in the story it was quite cute as I said and it had an interesting premise but that's kind of all to it and I didn't like that my favorite character Hotaru who's the sister of Miyako was kind of the one who was getting all the bad shit and I don't think I will continue on with the series I gave this particular manga 2.5 stars the next two mangas I read are the manga version of the 17th Detective Conan movie and that is called Private Eye in the Distant Sea volumes 1 and 2 and I really enjoyed reading this I'm a huge fan of Detective Conan in general and I'm a huge fan of the movies I own like the first seven of them in general I really enjoyed the story and it was really gripping like the movies it also took a while to get the story going like the movies do but the end and the fight scenes and this last part the action scene weren't that well translated into a comic format so I probably would prefer this as the actual movie but the story itself was really good with Detective Conan I don't think that you can do anything wrong so both got 4 out of 5 stars from me then I finally finished the second volume in the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon manga series by Naoko Takeuchi I believe all of you know Sailor Moon who are my generation I grew up with the anime the first anime of Sailor Moon and got the first two volumes about a year ago and <laughs> have been reading the second volume for about as long I had only like a few pages left so I finally put an end to its fate it was okay the mangas are beautifully drawn but I think I will always be kind of this original anime girl and the last four mangas I read this month are the last four volumes in the Princess Sakura manga series by Arina Tanemura so volumes 9 to 12 and I have to say I really enjoyed those three mangas they were really interesting and I liked this Ruryo storyline a lot and I was really shipping her with the guy it was a really interesting story overall I love this three in particular they got five out of five stars from me I was kind of left unsatisfied with it for me except for Kamikaze Kaito Jan or Arina Tanemura series and kind of rushed and she builds the story up for so long over so many many volumes and then I have always the feeling that in the end she wants to say so much more but only has like so many chapters left and so many pages left so it's always kind of rushed and always kind of confusing although I have to say for this ending it wasn't as bad as for example Shinji Dume Cross or Full Moon Busaka Shita that really really dragged down the entire series I kind of liked the end although like this killing spree that was going on was kind of confusing for me and I wasn't the biggest fan of that but it was okay I would give it like 3.5 out of 5 stars so it's in general a really good series I personally enjoyed it it's my second favorite series after Kamikaze Kaito Jan in general, but Kamikaze Kaito Jan is just the best Tanemura series I have read so far for like the overall in general arc. So those were all the books and mangas I read in January. I hope you enjoyed this video. How many books did you read in the month of January? Was January a good reading month for you? Please let me know. If you want to see another wrap up by me, then click here. But it's a really old one, I promise you that. If you want to see my last video then click here and if you want to subscribe feel free I will leave this button somewhere here and please remember to also hit the bell button so that you get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you want to and I will see you soon with another video. Goodbye!